yarn of bees it's sandy uh i'm sorry i haven't been on here for a while <laughs> i've been in a real funk um i guess i don't know if it's the heat or if it's something else or like i don't know what it is but i just have not been feeling like getting on camera I haven't been feeling like doing much of anything except sitting and crocheting um <clears throat> i was having some real issues with my finger um for those of you that are new i had about a year ago the knuckle on my index finger cracked really really loud and hard and it dropped me to my knees um i've been having problems with it ever since i don't know if I had cracked something in there or what, but I never got it looked at. I figured, oh, it'll fix itself or it'll, you know, whatever. I made up a whole bunch of excuses so I didn't have to go see the doctor. And for the most part, it's been okay. Um, like I'd get really bad pains and then I would just pull my finger and let it relax a little bit and kind of move it around and I'd feel a click and then it would be okay. <clears throat> I've been trying to do that um, all week and the pain has like been underneath and it hurts so bad. Like I couldn't touch it. Uh, I couldn't crochet for two days and uh, my, <laughs> it was actually kind of weird because I didn't realize that I crochet every day, every day. And being off crochet for two days really put me in a tailspin. I had no idea how much crochet has affected my emotions. It keeps me in a calm state and it keeps me um, very level. Uh, when I couldn't do it, I became angry, uh, poor George. Um, I was just snippy. I was crying. I was, uh, there was just a lot of things going on. And I thought there's no way I can get in front of a camera because I would just be going, rah, 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 you know, and the Linda Blair of me would be coming out and I, my head be spinning. And I thought, no, I'm not going to put you guys through that. <laughs> So, uh, um, uh, yeah, so it was, it was pretty bad. <laughs> George was ready to move out. <laughs> um, and then I haven't been feeling all that well, like weird things. I've been getting headaches, um, you know, and I'm just not feeling quite myself. I, and I think I've got allergies. I've been sneezing like crazy and, Usually I don't get an allergy attack unless there's pollen flying around, uh, like cottonwood. Um, and we don't have cottonwood here. So I don't know what's going on. I must be developing an allergy to something else because of my, I've been like, you know, all the time and I'm, um, sneezing a lot and I'm just like feeling really, you know, um, so I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but I don't like it. And I just been wanting to curl up in a ball. I've, I've been having naps, which I don't really do. <laughs> so at least I fight through it. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. So anyways, I, that's why I haven't been on. Yeah. Uh, I have been getting some stuff done though. Well, not done, but started. Um, I decided that I was going to start making a couple of pocket shawls again because I gave the one pocket shawl that I I made, I gave it to my sister. Uh, so I decided that I was going to start making some more. And I know better. I mean, we all know better, but we don't do it. We know better to make sure that we have enough yarn to start a project and finish it. For the most part. Uh, but we always end up playing chicken with the yarn. Or we end up not get, having enough yarn. Or, you know, it happens, right? Crap happens. But anyway, so I started doing this one. 
It's doubled, of course. Uh, so I started doing this one, and this was made out of the Barcelona. And of course, I I had this Barcelona for quite a while. I had it in my stash, and I decided to pull it out of uh, my many, many tubs of yarn that I have. But there was only one ball, and I don't even think it was a full ball. I don't know. Maybe it was, but this is all I got out of it. And I went to go to Michael's to find another one. They don't have it. So I, I'm going, well, I don't want to have half of it this color and half of it another color. I think that would look terrible because then when you go to do the pockets, you know, then you're going to have more of the other color than this color. And I was like, oh, what am I going to do? So I've decided hopefully it works, that I am going to revamp the pocket shawl. And if it works out well, it might be a new design for me. So I'm going to go around this way with another color so that it fans out and it's got um, both colors. The problem is, is that on this one, well, it might work. I don't know. We'll see. I'll fudge it. <laughs> so anyways, yes. So there you have it. I have that first one. And that's all I've got left. God. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, so that's one. Then I went to Michael's. Surprise. And I found... This yarn, I never ever buy this yarn. It's Karen Skinny Cakes. I never buy this yarn, but the color grabbed me so hard that I had to get it. And I paid full price for it. I paid $11.99 for two. Are you kidding me? I did have a 30% off for the one, <clears throat> but I'm going, Sandy, what are you doing? They came out with some new colors, I guess. But then again, I wouldn't know because I never buy this yarn. I, I've bought in Karen cakes before, but not the skinny cakes. So I have no idea what colors were the Karen, uh, the skinny cakes had, but I knew I'd never seen this before. <clears throat> Just by walking around so I grabbed it and I, I've gotten such a good response from everybody because I put it on my Instagram I put it on my Facebook I put it and everybody's going I want that color so even Crystal Ricola aka Crystal Crochet and stuff she works at Michael's and her Michael's doesn't have it <laughs> so that was kind of a shock I figured if anybody's gonna get uh, get to have this right away it would have been her but she said no she doesn't have it so I don't know maybe it's because they're just restocking they're starting to do their restock and the um and revamping oh my god what a mess it is in there everything used to be in certain places you'd always know here's the wool here's the big k or the big um skeins and you know now they've moved it all over the place and you can't find a damn thing I'm just like, what is going on? So, um, anyway, so I bought this and what I did because I don't like thin yarn, I put the two cakes together and I'm starting to wonder if that was a good idea because now it's marled and I don't really like marled. I don't know. <clears throat> see, Oh, can you see that? <sighs> So yeah, it's all, it's marled colors now instead of like just the solid, right? But I don't know, maybe it would have been better this way because I noticed with some cakes, the, the color changes are so short and then you've got these choppy, I hate that co choppy color changes. So this kind of mitigates that, but I don't know. 
What do you think? It's, I don't know. If you like the marled look, great. You know, then this, this would be perfect. But I'm not a big marled person. Although, now that I'm looking at it like this, it's actually nice. <laughs> so anyways, that's, and I know I can get more of this. So if I hurry, <laughs> so, but I'm not paying full price again. Uh, so that's that one. Oh, oh sorry about that. Uh, then I finished making that blanket. Uh, and then I decided I'm going to make another one, but this time I'm going to do it in a granny square because the other one took too darn long. I just, uh, by the end of it, I was just going cross-eyed. I was, and I was bored of it. So this one, I'm so excited about this one. And here I'm saying, I don't like marled look, but yet yeah, look at this. Is this not gorgeous? Oh, my colors. And yes, this is the yarn that Rosalie sent me. I'm so happy. I might have to keep this for myself. I don't know. <laughs> the dog will claim it, I'm sure. So that wouldn't be a good thing. Anyway, so the yarn, whoops. Hang on. Ugh. If you see the yarn, it's like candy cane. It's like awesome. Um, the yarn is, oh, where's the ball band? Okay. It's, I love this yarn. Super soft. And the color is aubergine. And then this color here is the Yarn Bee Arabella. Uh, the color is Beautiful Berry. Now, <laughs> I was sitting here working on this right in the, the beginning stages. And I'm talking to Rosalie. We're, we chat back and forth on Messenger. And I says, I'm using the yarn you got me. And I sent her a picture. And I says, you know, I says, this um, Arabella feels a lot like cotton. And anybody that's been on here for a, uh, quite a while, says, I don't like cotton. But it's a soft cotton feel. And I'm going, I'm sure that this is acrylic. Like, I, And then I looked at the ball band. And it's, uh, where is it here? Um, oh, where did it say it? Uh, oh, it's 55% cotton, 45%. 5% acrylic. <laughs> so I did struggle with this a little bit. Um, and the reason why I'm not a cotton fan is because I don't like how it sticks to your fingers. Like it, it doesn't glide. It doesn't, it's like you, you're constantly having to, you know, pull it and fix your fingers and, and it doesn't glide nice on the hook. And I, it just drives me crazy. But this, it's not bad. Um, once I got working with it and got used to it, it actually, it worked up pre pretty good. And doing the granny stitch, uh, it worked up nicely. So, and I love the way it looks. So even though I have a displeasure for cotton, it does have acrylic in it. So it made it softer. Um, and it made it a little more pliable and easier to work with. So I may get it again. Um, Lisa from Lisa's Crochet, she got a package.
from one of her YouTubers, YouTuber friends, and she got the Arabella, but I think hers was in blue or purple. And I was just like, oh, I'm going to have to buy some more. <laughs> I want the purple one, right? So, yeah. <clears throat> but this was a test for me uh, to see if I would like it. And when I started doing just the middle part, I was like, holy crap, that's busy. Um, and I wasn't sure if I liked it. But then when I put the solid with it, it just, it went bam. There it is. Like it just, the, the two together just look phenomenal. So I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, like really happy with that. Um, oh God, I got a snag in there. So anyways, uh, I'm thrilled with the way this is turning out. So that's what I've got for my whips right now. Uh, I think I have a couple more whips, but they're not worth talking about because I've kind of put them on the wayside. <sighs> like the uh, new fiber spider shawl, the, the kaleidoscope shawl. Uh, I was so excited to start it. And then I got to part five and he didn't finish the the um section he finished one section and said well it's exactly the same so go ahead and do the other side my count was all wrong uh and it affects the next part so i just kind of went mm, i was choked <laughs> so so yeah i don't know if i'll be finishing that at all and i've already put quite a bit of work into it so i'm gonna be pissed off but I digress. Um, I'm just going to work on other things. <laughs> I don't know if I showed this to you. I got a Hobie. I'm sure I must have, but maybe I didn't. I got a Hobie order in. See, I don't even remember what I tell you guys. Like, it's really bad. Like, it, uh, five minutes later, I'm just like, I have no, no clue. I don't remember anything. But I'm going to show it to you again. <laughs> uh, I have never bought this yarn before. And I saw, I can't remember who it was that I, maybe, it, oh, I think it was Crystal Ricola. Ooh, I think it was her. Maybe. Um, she got, I think it, I'm pretty sure it was her. She's, man, that girl, every time she shows something, she's... I told her, I says, you know what? You're an enabler. <laughs> you totally enabled me. And so, anyways, I went online and I had to get this. It's called Cookie. And, uh, of course, the first thing I do is I go on the website and make sure that it's acrylic. Because I'm allergic to wool. Uh, I think everybody knows that by now. <laughs> so, anyways, yes, it is acrylic. And the weird thing is, is they don't put, oh yeah, they, it's a, it's a size five, but look at these colors. Does that not scream fairy garden or dragonfly? Like, oh, wow. Just love it. Uh... It doesn't have a color name. It just has a number 46211. So this, I, I had to get two because it was just so gorgeous. <clears throat> and then here I again, I am with my Claret color. It's another cookie. Look at that. <laughs> it's actually darker um, on here than it is. Um, I mean, it's, uh, darker in person than it is on camera, but, um, this color is four, six, two, two, one. So I got two of those and I can't wait to use them. I don't know what I'm going to make with them. I was thinking a shawl of some sort, but, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Cause it's a five, it's a five weight. <clears throat> so who knows 
Who knows? So I got that. On my last, I think it was my last video, I was showing you the hook nook um, end weaver. Crystal Ricole K. Uh, she also bought these and I had to warn her. Um, when I opened these, the smell was so horrendous. I don't know if it's the shellac that they put on these or what. Uh, because it's pearlescent. Um, the smell was just chokingly bad. Uh, I can't even describe the smell of it. So I contacted the hook nook and I said, you know, you guys might want to open up your packaging before you sell your stuff because this was a bad one. The idea, brilliant. Uh, the execution wasn't so good. <laughs> um, so they are contacting the supplier. I had to send them a picture and my address and everything. And so I, I'm waiting to hear back from them. I, whether, I mean, they're either going to give me my money back or they're going to fix the product and send me new ones. I don't know what they're going to do, but I mean, I was so excited to get this and so excited to try it out, but I, I tried washing it. I tried soaking it in a bleach. I tried, I tried everything and the smell stuck. So I was pissed. I was just like, you know what? I can't use it. And I bought two of them because I wanted to put one in a giveaway. And I can't. In good conscience, I cannot put it in a giveaway because it's just, it can't be used. So guess what I'm doing? <laughs> uh, I went and saw my sister and she's doing fantastic by the way every time i go to see her she's she's different um in a good way this time her eye patch was off and she was walking around i was like what because she's had an eye patch on this whole time because she had double vision from the brain surgeries and everything and she's now her eyes are starting to adjust together so I was so excited. I was so proud of her. Uh, she's been doing eye exercises and everything. So this is huge. It's a huge um, uh, positive thing that's happening. <clears throat> so that was great. So anyways, we were sitting down and talking and she was saying how <laughs> she says that she's so proud of me for all the accomplishments I've done in my life. And, you know, I've gone back to school many times to get different things, you know, and I, and I says, and where has that got me? You know, I says, the only consistent in my life has been crochet and I've made money with my crochet and, um, and it's led me to a YouTube channel. So I says, but all the other stuff, whether it's like the hairdressing, the massage, the nail tech course, the uh, long-term care aid course that I took, the uh, forklift driving course, I did, like all that stuff. I've never worked in it. Well, a little bit, but it was like, nah, nah. so I was like, so what have I done with my life? Really? Like, yeah, I've taken lots of courses. She says, but you're so smart and you've done all this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but it's just, it hasn't done me any good. So no sooner did she say that, a couple days later, George and I were talking. George found this company down in the States who does on online courses for carpet dyeing. Okay. <laughs> so he was all excited about this going, wow, look at this. You know, you could fix bleach spots on carpets and you can fix Persian carpet for Persian rugs. You can bring the color and the life back into them and all this. And he says, you're really artistic. So this would be good for you. And it would be part of premier carpet cleaning. And, you know, and I'm going and I would work for you. <laughs> He's like, well, yeah, but and so. I says, well, you know, I was having one of my really 
down moments. And I was like, yeah, well, whatever. Right. Well, then the next day I had an up moment and I went, yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> so, so we registered for the course. It's a one day online, eight hour a day course. And then they give, you know, updates, free classes and all that stuff after that. Uh, $700 later. Guess who's taking a di carpet dyeing course? <laughs> Me. <laughs> yeah. So I'm taking the fiber arts to a whole new level. Uh, and I'm going to be working with George to um, hopefully not screw up everything I do. Uh, so I, I, I was having a moment. I was like, yeah, this will be exciting. And I was going, hey, we could do this and that and this and that. The next day, the dread came in. And I was going, oh, my God, what have I done? You know, the fight or flight happened. And I was starting to, to you know, fly away. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what have I done? And now I'm kind of going, no, I can do this. I can do this. Uh, it's not much different than anything else I've ever done in the arts. You know, I've done painting and I've done, <clears throat> excuse me, I've done um, uh, acrylic pours and I've done like intricate stuff and I've done... You know, so I'm thinking, yeah, maybe this will be good, you know. Hopefully, it won't be too hard on my body. Uh, I guess we'll see. I'm going to be down on my hands and knees. So, uh, you know, with my back and everything, like, I don't know. We'll see. But we're, we're kind of excited. George is over the moon about it. He's already telling his customers, hey, this is what my wife is doing. And, blah, 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 blah. and I'm going, stop it. You know, because I if I fall flat on my face, then you've gone and told all these people that I'm doing it. And, you know, I'm already looking at the videos of the Persian rug repairs and all this. And I'm just going, oh, no, I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm, I'm excited, but I'm not excited. And I'm just like, yeah, okay. So, yeah, it's fiber arts, but it's just a different kind of fiber arts. So we'll see how that goes. So. Yeah, she's doing it. I'm starting to get froggy here. <clears throat> so I'm going to go. Uh, that's I think that's all I had. Oh, come uh, go check out my Etsy page. Um, I have some new stitch markers on there. Uh, the link is down below. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think that's everything. Yes. I think that's everything for now, for now, until I figure out something else. <laughs> okay, guys, I love you all. Oh, don't forget on, is it Friday? Friday. Today's 22nd. Yeah, Friday. Um, Dana is going to be doing the big giveaway or the big drawing for the hashtag Christmas and July fairies what so excited uh so yeah go check that out i have i've sent my my winner her package um yeah <laughs> so um and oh and on the 28th is my one year on youtube so we might be doing some stuff <laughs> so, to celebrate ah! okay so i will talk to you guys later i love you all thank you for joining me thank you for the new subscribers i hope you stick around uh and because there's lots of good things to come okay i'll talk to you later Mwah! bye